This playthrough is rated T for teen. You should have surrendered. You can't beat me. All right, Dark Assassin Gaspar, this is for my father. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, we're back here with another episode of Dark Cloud 2. In the last episode, we went to the lighthouse, used the star glass to see into the past and how Crest got killed. And now we find out that it was because of uh, Griffith's minions, like Dark Assassin Gaspar, who apparently killed Monica's father in the future. And now he's back here to mess with time, so we can take him out. So Gaspar, uh, stats-wise, is pretty straightforward. He's 100% on all his attacks, uh, or any uh, strengths and weaknesses um, are 100%, so he's neutral either way. Um, though he does have quite a bit of HP, as I'll show here in a second, as I'm looking at my notes here. Um, the first battle with Gaspar is in the Starlight Canyon. He's a beast class, interesting enough. He's got 1500 HP, 44 attack, 25 defense. He has zero ABS, zero Gilda, drops nothing, and 100% on everything. And then on voice acting wise, he is voiced by uh, Reno Romano, who's uh, not a big career. He's only had like maybe like 60 roles to his uh, name over the years. Um, his most uh, famous role, I believe, is like uh, um, a Batman and like uh, uh, Batman and like Batman vs Dracula, but also Lou Sarah from Resident Evil 4. I think his last role was like from Yakuza Like a Dragon, which is Yakuza 7, I believe. But anyway, so Gaspard's pretty straightforward. Um, he'll you know do jump around, do double attacks. The way you beat him is just hit him or charge your sword and do that. Okay, so now we got um, Max's scene while she's doing that. So we have to protect Lynn from evil flames. So evil flames are actually really easy of an enemy. Like they they don't take much at all to defeat. Actually, we got a pretty straightforward method to do it. Uh, but if you didn't have uh, the method I'm using, which I mean you should. Uh, then you'll be fine. But Evil Flames are found in the Starlight Canyon. They're spirits. They only have 40 HP, 2 attack, 0 defense, 0 ABS, 0 gilda, no drops, and they're 100% on everything when they fight them. So, yeah, I like, I like how they kind of swap in between the two characters um, while they're doing their own thing. But all you have to do is switch to the ride pod and switch to your barrel cannon, and you'll easily take out the Evil Flames. Like, this is like a joke. Like, really, the challenge is Gaspar. Yeah, see? Yeah, just make sure to not get hit too badly from Gaspar. But every time you charge attack, he'll fall over. So this is when you get a couple of swings in, smack him again, do this a couple of times. Oh, right, I have to, uh, there's one thing I have to do. I'll do that when I get back to Max again. Yeah, this is pretty easy. The only thing you might have to worry about is if he jumps out of his, out of your, like, charge attack or gets a double strike. You might be careful. Actually, I probably should heal just in case he gets a t double hit on me. It is possible to lose with, as Monica, so you just have to be kind of careful. Because he did get a double strike on me. So let me get out of Steve really quick. Oh, I'm out of the ride pod. Let me take a picture really quick. Picture and perfect of the magic flying battleship. Uh, there is three times in the game to take a picture with the battleship before it becomes unavailable, which is like sometime in chapter six. Um, so if you don't get the picture now for whatever reason, don't worry about it too much, but I would try to get it now if you could. Uh -oh. This happens every once in a while where the flame will go like outside of the uh, ride pods or, or go into its range. So during auto attacking, it'll like it'll be too close to where it won't auto target it. But yeah, this this part is easy. So. Like I said, really, Gaspar is the whoops. No, we are not using our monster form. Thank you very much. Shit, we almost have him too. We only have to do it a couple more times. Yep. I gotta be careful about it. Oh yeah, when he jumps around, that can be dangerous. Like I said, he can get a couple of hits on you. I've never found this part too difficult. Now, obviously, you want to have a decent sword with you so you can do a, like a nice amount of damage to the to him. So we've almost got him. Now yeah, this guy's easy. How do you beat Monica's father? Like, isn't he like this epic swordsman or something like that? So whatever. Gotcha. Well done. Your skills surpass even your father's. Accept it, you lost. What 
was that? What in blazes? We're under attack from the Moon Crystal. What should I do? Ugh. Blasted wizard. Annihilate that lighthouse! Yes, sir. going down get us out of here master don't leave me when you're not hurt no master but you can't die I I'm ready to be a sage. You still have a lot of training left. When you do it, please fulfill my dream. No, I can't. Not without you. I know you can. You will. You, you'll be a sage. Saving people just by being there. That's the kind of sage you want to be, right? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Master. Master! you've always dreamed of becoming. We couldn't save him. I guess not. You're wrong. What do you mean? The future changed, alright. 
Now I'm going to be a sage. I promised Master Crest. And I think I'll rescue him when I become a sage myself. Good. Monica? Max? Thank you. I'll never forget you. Good luck in your battle against the evil. You bet. Take care of yourself, Lynn. So we did all that for no reason? All of the past and Crest died anyway? Well, yeah, but something does change, like it says in the future here, so... Oh, yeah, before we go on, uh, the guy who voiced Dr. Jamming, which is that crazy guy with the purple, uh, blue hair, is voiced by Cam Clark. He's had, like, an illustrious career of, over, uh, career of over 300 roles. His most recent role is Teenage Mutant... At least by the time it's recording, is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge, where he voices Leonardo and Rocksteady, but game fans probably know him as Corrin uh, from Fire Emblem Heroes. Uh, I think he also voiced a few people in that game, actually. I mean, he's done a lot of video games and anime over the years, but people probably know him from Fire Emblem... Um, uh, Fates, I mean, as Corrin, uh, Hinata, and Arthur from that game, for example. So, thought I'd bring that up. But uh, now let's uh, let's see what's happened in the future um, after all that's occurred. So, it must have been a major change, if anything. Oh yeah, Lin le leaves the party permanently, by the way. So it's not like you missed out much by you know her bizarre ability. I wonder if that was just an afterthought. They're like, oh, we should give her something to do. Uh, just have her upgrade your bizarre. I don't know. Them? I'd almost given up waiting. You've been a long time coming. Huh? I've been waiting for you to come. You see, I've become a sage just like I promised. Don't tell me. Lynn? No way! What do you mean? How rude! I am Lin! What? So you made it! You became a legendary sage! Yes, that's right! But I took on my teacher's name! I see. There's no need to explain why you're here. I've got a fair idea already. Because I've lived my time straight through! Unlike you. So, shall we find out about Griffin, then? Yes, that'd be great, Lynn. Ahem! <clears throat> Don't address me like that! You must call me Crest, the Great Sage! Yeah, sure. Um, sorry. consciousness from that time to ours, all by his own doing. The servants of Griffin in our time are those who are in sympathy with this consciousness. So they're all being controlled? They're acting of their own free will. They're evil from the beginning, just like Griffin himself. In other words, they've sold their souls to the darkness. Griffin is using those people and trying to destroy the world. What does he plan on getting out of that? Who knows? 
But I believe the only way to stop him is to go to his time and destroy him there. Go back 10,000 years? That's right. But how can we go 10,000 years in the past? Your Atlamelia can only travel 100 years at best. Those stones were never intended for this kind of thing. So what can we do? A 10,000 year leap through time? I don't even know if it's possible. But if it could be done... Go on. Those from the Luna Lab would be the one that could do it. Luna Lab? Luna Lab is short for Lunatic Wisdom Laboratory. It used to be the largest research facility in the world. It was on the Venicchio coast. It was? You mean that it's vanished now too? Yes. So, the Venicchio coast is next. So, that settles it. You'd better get going. Thank you, Crest the Great Sage. See you, Lynn. <laughs> My master, watch over those children. Look after those who saved me. Lin was a sage and had become strong. I'm sure Crest had become a star and was looking down on Lin from above. Because for Lin, Crest would always be the one true sage forever. Great, you're just in time. We're ready to go again. Just let me know when you're all set to go. Yeah, we're not quite set yet, Cedric. We actually have to go back to the future. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, back to the future. All right, Marty. Um, so, yeah, one thing I want to know, what happened to Lynn's nose? It got huge in the future, apparently, despite age. Yeah, she became a great sage. Oh, yeah, um... She's voiced by B.J. Ward, who did the Condor voice earlier, so that's her two roles in the game. Yeah, some f more future stuff has changed because we've completed most of it. Well, let's go back. Um, and did this game just steal the plotline from Final Fantasy 1? The whole going back in the past to defeat the ultimate evil? Like, seriously, that's Final Fantasy 1, the, the story for that one, you know? And how old is that game? Nah, it's fine. I'm just, I just make fun of the fact that basically... Stole the plot from them. It looks like Starlight Temple has been completely restored. And it's all thanks to you two. Please, take this. And we get the Serpent Slicer for 100%ing the Starlight, uh, uh, the Starlight Canyon uh, section and everything. Thank you, Great Sage. Oh, very good! <laughs> and there's another, other than that, there's another reason to go back. One, we need to uh, take a picture of the moon crystal. The moon's out! So it's a special crystal. Also, we can talk to Lynn here. Hi, quit dilly-dallying and show the griffins who's boss. Hurry! Let's see if she's got a thing. Oh, she doesn't have a unique pose for taking a picture of her. Huh. That's interesting, actually. Usually most character, usually most named characters like her would have a unique po pose. See Kelm here? Even the Great Sage is once the apprentice of a sage. He must have been an amazing teacher. Except he got blown up really easily. Probably could have survived that, like... And we did nothing to stop it. I mean, I guess inevitability and all this other stuff. But, yeah, another reason to come here is there's two treasures. That happened after we finished it. We get a potato pie and... A witch parfait for doing that. So, we're done with the treasures. I mean, yeah, there's that one... But the thing is, you know, uh, in this version anyway, it's, uh, there's a bug surrounding it, so I don't want to grab it now. So or I was about to say, where, is, where do we get out of here? So anyway, let's go ahead and eat that potato pie. 
can go get our defense up to 28. And Monica's up to 28 as well. So we're good there. So I think that's it. Oh, right. I need to make some stuff. Oh, well, let me... Uh, so hold on. Let me... Let me go ahead and put those, the battleship and the moon crystal into my inventory there. And then let me go ahead and, whoops, let me go ahead and make some new things. We actually have a new thing, not for the battleship, that'll be a while longer, but we do have some new items for the moon crystal. Uh, now that that's in our inventory, so let's go and get those uh, invented, or at least put into the event slot anyway, so. All right, let's start with the, uh, let's see, where is that? We need the constructor there. We need a post, and then we need the moon crystal. All right. Say cheese. We get the third variation of the cannonball arm if you've been using that. So yeah, and it's kind of weird during this battle that you don't have to take a picture of Gaspard or the evil flames or anything like that. Yeah, for whatever reason, you don't have to take a picture of them for for uh, invention's sake. So. It's a bit different, but hey. All right, we need the moon crystal again. We need the moon. And then we need a fountain for this uh, little thing, so. Yeah, it works! We get a, um, I think it's the third, uh, ver uh, the third gun light, or third grade of gun, the magic gun. Um, that's the other gun I could have gotten if I didn't choose the the upgrade for um, uh, Max's current weapon that I've got. I could have gone to that. So yeah, we can actually make that if we want to. So the only problem with the uh, making a gun straight up and not building it from the beginning is that it you have to level it up a bit more to get enough uh, uh, synthesis points to you know get it to a high level. So but that's up to you if you want to do that. So all right, we need a parasol pumpkin and we also need the moon crystal for our final invention for a while, or at least on the next chapter. Yeah, it works. We get some, we make, we make some spike boots for Monica. Step on me, mommy. I mean, uh, I mean, those, those are very nice. Um, she, she looks very regal in those spike heels. Uh, all right. Anyway, <laughs> we don't know what Max is thinking. Apparently he's the one who invented it, man. Don't blame me. Don't, don't judge me. Don't, don't do it. I see you judging. I'd, I'd stop it. But anyway, we're done with the uh, Starlight Canyon, so we can head on out, other than remembering to get this treasure back in Chapter 6 if you're playing the version I'm playing. If not, then you could probably grab it as is. I don't, like I said, I still don't, I haven't looked up any notes to say that you'll have to do anything different with the, uh, um, in the PS4 version, though I doubt I've, they fixed a lot of that stuff, because a lot of that stuff they lost the code for and they just emulated it for the most part, so. But anyway, let's head back to um, Cedric and head on to the end of Chapter 3 and Chapter 4 as we're going on. So, yeah, we got to head to, uh, was it Vinicio or Vinicio to uh, uh, boot up the uh, lunatics uh, place. So, yep, let's head on out. Yep. I want to stay a little longer, except we can always come back at any time. So, oh yeah, what are... Um, Hold on a second. Before I go, actually, I, I just thought about this. I wonder if Lynn, you can talk to uh, uh, Lynn or, or the um, Al. I wonder if they're still in the cabin or whatnot. Because she did say she was. She might be at the. Um, she might be at the lighthouse, maybe. But let's see if there's anyone still here or if the Al has anything to say about what happened. Lynn's gone off to study. Who said she won't be back till she becomes a real sage? But who decides when you get to become a sage anyway? I don't care if she becomes a sage or not. I just wanted to hey, come back home. Hoo. Okay. Uh, so I guess Lynn's gone for now. So, all right. Let's uh, go back to the station. And we'll put, I'll put Mayor Need back in my group uh, later. I'll put just Cedric in for now, just to kind of fill out my character inventory um, since Lynn uh, put herself back out. So, actually, we'll do that when we get to Vinicio. So, all righty. Let's move him out. Ocean, here we come.
smell that ocean breeze. So this is what the ocean smells like. What? You've never been to the ocean before? Yeah, well, I've seen pictures and books, though. Wow. All righty. We'll be right here waiting for you. Hey, now it's the bridge that's down. Leave it to us. Thanks a lot. Well, let's get going. I'm not sure why they do that whole, um, they give us an excuse to not move on with the train. I guess so we can, can't che uh, cheap the plot, but the thing is we have to be here to fix this place anyway. So what's the what's the re what's the excuse for having that be damaged? We're just like, oh, we can't leave until we fix until we fix the situation. So whatever. I guess they're just trying to give the characters some some reasons to be here. So oh, hello. What's this? Yeah, we need to take a picture of this windmill here. So let's put that in the item book. Nice. All right. So now. We have another couple of uh, items to invent now that we've got the windmill here. So let's go and uh, yeah, it's a building day. So anyway, we need the we need the auto book reader. Where are you at? Yep, auto book reader. We need the um, and we need a fan, and we need that we need that precious windmill that we just got. Windmill, windmill. Say cheese. We make the famous drill arms. Gurn logging anyone? Um, no, but uh, yeah, we make some drill arms. So the arms that drill. All right, well, one more invention. So windmill, telescope, and a fan. We'll get we'll get this job done. Say cheese. We get the machine gun arm Mark II version, so more powerful. Arr, 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 more power. All right, let's head on to let's uh head on to Vinicio itself. See what see what blankness is there and what Chapter Four has to in store for us. So this is the ocean. Amazing! Wow! It feels so good! What do you think? Like it? Oh yeah! Come in and join me! It feels great! Sure, okay. Huh? It's coming from that cave. Let's check it out. If I hadn't set out on this journey, then I never would have seen the sea. There are still so many things in the world that I haven't seen. Right then, I wanted to see them all. But more than even these wonderful things, I wanted to see your smiling face, Mother. Chapter 4. Goodbye, Shingala. Alright, now it's time to head to chapter four. And actually the chapter four is probably the shortest and easiest section of the game to do because the map is pretty straightforward and fixing things are pretty straightforward. So what awaits us inside? What do we have to build? Can we enjoy a good swim with our clothes on? Find out next time in the next episode of Dark Cloud 2. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>